Today we're back with another best of 2023 video. Today it's Players Distance Irons. We've got seven models and we have Kevin Kraft here at the Minnetonka store to do some testing. We'll break down the look, the feel and sound, the performance and the innovation of each of these models. We'll do some testing. And we'll tell you guys everything you need to know about the Players Distance Iron category here in 2023. If you haven't yet, subscribe to that channel, give the video a like, and then tell us in the comments which of these models is your favorite. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahold, the Second Swing Golf, joined today by Kevin Kraft, uh, one of our master club fitters, a professional golfer, uh, U.S. Senior Open participant, back-to-back uh, -back years, or qualifier, I guess would be a Thank better you. way to yep. uh, describe it, but uh, knows a thing or two about golf and golf equipment. So um, <laughs> he's here with us today at Minnetonka. Uh, players Distance Irons, the best models of 2023 are all here. We've got seven models. It's and a lot the, of golf swings. It's a lot of golf swings. Um, <laughs> We're putting you to the challenge today, <laughs> Mr. Crafts, but uh, we wanted to put everything together in one test and kind of hopefully provide some answers for people out there that might have some questions about this category of the models within. So um, we have seven models, and, and I guess before even getting into it, maybe just a, a feeler from you on how, you know, maybe the best performers in this category or the, you know, which ones have been showing up the best in fitting so far in 2020. Yeah. Um Trends have been good across the board. Mm -hmm. Like everybody's got such great stuff. Right. Um, there's a lot of excitement around Mizuno. Uh, Mizuno's having a, a mm -hmm. heck of a run with with the the pro category and the mm -hmm. and the 923s. Um, really, really great stuff. Uh, the new Strixons, uh, very nice step forward from yep. from them. Um, Ping i five two fives, really, really good. Uh, you know. The bar was set really pretty high by TaylorMade when they released the first uh, P790, yeah. and it's gotten better year over yeah. year over year. Um, you know, uh, it's Callaway's yeah. Callaway's paradigms really good, nice package, fast ball speeds, Cobra Forge Tech, great looking iron, good ball speeds. Um, there's no wrong answers in any of this. You know, it's it's. Uh, we're gonna tell you what we think, but yeah. you got you got to come see. Us. Right, you gotta, that's always you gotta get in there and yep. and and make your own uh, you know form your own opinions and tell us what you like the look of and the feel of and sound of and we'll tell you about the numbers and we'll try to come to a good good consensus. Right, that's always the caveat is this is for your swings today. Yeah, yep. might it will 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 be different for yeah. someone that's watching going into the bay yeah. and hitting these and might be yeah. different numbers, but we've got the Mizuno JPX 923 forged. We've got the Ping I525. We got the Shrixon ZX5, Callaway Paradigm, uh, Cobra King Forge Tech, the Tour Edge Exotic C723, and the TaylorMade P790 yep. that Kevin alluded to. Uh, again, has been so, so good yep. uh, in the fitting bays. And so yep. we had to throw it in here, even though it was released maybe a year or two yeah, ago. Yeah, we're going to see, it's, we should see a new one coming out. Here soon. Probably, I'm guessing, mid late fall. Yeah. Uh, should be about the timing so, on that one. So, uh, yeah. but we have these here because they've been a they're new in 2023. Yep. B uh, for the most part, and B they've just been high performers yep. and gotten great feedback so far. So, yep. um, without further ado, I think mm. it's time to hit some hit some shots. A lot of shots. Okay, yes. let's do that. Thin. Thin to win. No? Thin to lose. Ah, thin to lose. Thin to lose. As the saying goes. That was uh, that was bottom groove. I've been there before. Golf's hard. Practically lived there. <laughs> More solid. So the this is the the forge, just kind of where the the classic Mizuno forging feel meets yeah. their kind of chromoly material. They can, they had blend them together a little bit in this set. Which is interesting because you get some of that feel, right? The really good Mizuno feel that everybody loves. Mm -hmm. And then you still get like that kind of explosiveness as sort of a mix, which is a lot of what all these irons are is kind of a clash yeah, of those two worlds. Absolutely. But, it's, um, you it's, get it really well. I think they have a good combination with this one. I like this category so much because there's a lot of people that don't like the thicker top line, yeah. a lot of the, the game improvement stuff. So, but you also don't have to give up forgiveness. These are very forgiving irons. And if yeah. you've got somebody coming in with, you know, 20 year old irons, um, even a 20 year old game improvement iron, this is going to be more, more, you know, oh, yeah. more oh, forgiving yeah. than that mm -hmm. is. So, um, 
you know, it's it's just such a it strikes such a good balance. There's so many great offerings in this yeah. in this category, which is why I'm going to be sleeping very well tonight. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, that was all right. So, JPX 923 forged. Um, you mentioned it briefly, but thoughts on the aesthetic pieces to it? Yeah. So. Um, I don't hate it. Yeah. It's, I love the feel of it. Aesthetically, it doesn't, this one doesn't fit my eye the way I want a golf club to fit my eye. Okay. And my problem is, is right here. So <laughs> it's, it's terrible to be this, this aesthetically insane, but <laughs> I like a golf club that is really narrow here. Yeah. I call this the crotch of the club, right? Yeah. I like a really narrow crotch and I like, a fairly steep climb up to the to the toe. And there's a lot of golf club companies out there that make a fairly high crotch and a fairly low toe. So it looks kind of rectangly to me. Uh, and again, this is purely this is purely yeah. the twisted mind. I like, mind I like that the words I, that, you, that I have you use, here. The, you, the words you use were aesthetically insane. Yes. I don't know. Um, yeah. So yeah, I mean, it's look. It's not. This, this is not an offensive looking golf club. It's a good looking golf club. It just <laughs> isn't what I want to look at. Yeah. So, that's fair. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, I, mean, I got the, issues. I know I got issues. Well, let's go to Ping, and then you okay. can tell me about that one okay. while I look at the numbers here because. One seventy-seven carry, one eighty-seven point nine. That's our sort of baseline for the this category. Launch eighteen six, smash one four zero with maybe a miss or miss swing in there a couple yeah. times. Maybe this yeah. one for sure to the left. I know well, you. Well, that one went way it. left, didn't it? Um, yeah, <laughs> twenty-five yards <laughs> is, is is fine, Ooh, right? That's that's left. That's but that's that's fine. That's trouble. That's uh, trouble. It, you know what? It's not trouble because this is just a simulator. It's not <laughs> real golf. <laughs> yes, our, our 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 range is very yeah. very nice and wide. Exactly. All right. So this i five two five, this is a a more pleasing aesthetic to to my eye. Okay. Um, I happen to know that I like this golf club pretty well. So um, I, I feel like it has the thinnest or one of the thinnest top lines in the category. Yeah, it's really good. I mean, it's it's very blade-ish yeah. looking, right? So might be intimidating for some that, that look at it and go, mm, well, there's, there's, there's not much back there, but yeah. there's a lot of good technology in here. And there's a lot of good forgiveness in here as well. So don't be, don't be afraid of the 525. Immediately some more ball speed on that. Yep. But, but plenty of spin too. And height. That's a good thing. Good thing. 48.4 landing angle. The machine in his element here. <laughs> Back to uh, really good there. Okay. So it's amazing how much a golf club that I just go, oh yeah, I love the way this looks, right? Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we have a, there was a, hey, which one was the miss hit you think? Uh, I don't know. Um, Hard to tell. So just for the fun of it, right? I think we have to. Uh... Well, so interestingly, right? I lost ten yards, eleven yards. Yeah. On on a, a ball that was hit, really quite thin. Right. Um, that's not that bad. No. And right? though the best part too is, I mean, it's still very much like. Yeah. It's not veering left or right, very much in the middle of play. Yeah. Um, you know, unless you're being very aggressive attacking a front pin sure. with a bunker or something, you might sure. be in trouble. But other yeah. than that, you're still plenty fine, probably on the green still. Yeah, exactly. And that's, um, you, you kind of, it's not bad to have misses in there. Right. You know, when we're, when we're fitting, we're not going to kick out all the misses, right? Mm -hmm. Somebody shanks one. Yeah, of course we're going to, we're going to, okay, we're going to make that one go <laughs> right. away because that's, that's just, no matter what club you've got there, if you're hitting it off the hosel, right. it's not going to be good. But seeing what the tendencies and trends are is is important. Mm -hmm. So I, yeah, I think I mean, I certainly the, the spin I think is the most uh, I guess pleasing thing to me here or, mm. or encouraging thing to me. Yeah. Um, you know, if we took out this one, that spin consistency number drops to one seventeen. It's yeah. only one eighty five with it in there. Yeah. But you're seeing more spin and more consistent spin, yep. and also a little higher on the smash, a little yep. more ball speed. Yep. So. 
I mean, um, pretty good stuff here from the i5-25. Yeah, I, I, it's been a really great performer in yeah. the days. And those, those really grooves good. too, that's that's the new groove design, I yep. believe, where they added, yep. I think they added more grooves and like a tighter spacing, Micro Max, I think it Low is. Low grooves, mm-hmm. Yep. Um, so pretty consistent there too. It's, I think it's designed for spin consistency, yeah. but also like flyer lies reducing the effect of that. Um, I think it does pretty well. Yeah. I'm, I'm Club happy. number three. Okay. The mainframe of the ZX-5, ah. which is among one of the favorites of a club fitters at second swing. It's always been, well, it wasn't the last series and the new series. It's only, uh, I guess, continuing the trend, mm-hmm. following that trend. So how about that one? Look and feel. Love it. Look and sound and feel. Love well. it. I've spent some time with it. I, I love this golf club. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, it's one that you don't get a ton of people coming in specifically to try Strix on, but yeah. when you throw it into the mix, it's, it just performs. Yeah. It's so good. I, I, this has got very much my, my look. All right. I, I, I'm, I'm right at home with this golf. I, uh, I have a feeling we'll see some good shots here. I'm the, hoping. The confidence, I can see I'm, it. I'm going hoping. like this. A lot of pressure now. <laughs> I do think that's the most muted sound so far. Yep. Ooh, a little hanger. Yeah, it does seem like it's just taking off a little bit higher. Okay. Okay, that's, that's a good golf shot. Right that's there. the shot I want to hit all the time. That's a good golf shot. All if right. I had my druthers, that would be it. Well, look at how close the spin of the ZX-5 Mark II and the i5-25 are. That's the variance is more or less the same, and the number itself is six RPM. Off. Yeah. yeah. So uh, the only difference being a little bit more speed potentially with the i5-25 is there yep. to be had. But again, this is part of that. This is where if you're in this category, you're probably not so focused on distance. No. It, if you're, you know, you're probably asking for some consistency and, and performance that way as well. Right now, you got three yards <laughs> between right. them, right? Yeah. All three designed yards. to do the same thing. All kind of doing the same yep, thing. They're all kind of doing the same thing. Yep. Um, I did want to point out, though, the launch took off almost two degrees higher than mm. I-525 there. Uh, peak height was a little higher. Landing Attack angle, angle was steeper. about the same. So there is yeah. perhaps some launch capabilities with that mainframe there in the Mark II, or the ZX-5 Mark II, um, to take note of. But yeah. early on, really good stuff. That might be, it depends on if you're a east to west dispersion person or a north south dispersion person, but it's a pretty good dispersion here for the ZX-5 Mark II. Yeah, I like, so, I mean, look, how often do we say golf is hard, right? So we're gonna have some some of this yeah. re- regardless, yeah. you know, over the period of time that we're gonna own a set of golf clubs, there's gonna be some balls to go left and some balls to go right. If they go the same distance all the time, I mean, it's that's what we want. We wanna be able to count on it when we've got that shot over water or you know, shot over a bunker, know exactly how far that thing is going to go when you make a good swing. Mm-hmm. So, so good. It passes the test. It does. So, Paradigm. Okay. Let's go with that one. Okay. I'm going to predict longer and less spin. Compared to what we've seen so far? Yep. Well, I would not be the one to disagree with you. <laughs> You've been, you're the one in the trenches with the fittings and everything, so. So, looks standpoint, love it. Yeah. Callaway tends to have that shape that I that I, I like. So, uh, it's nice to know that I have a few options out there, right? Um, chromey, it's very chromey. It is. Right? Some people like that, some people really don't like that. Um, it's, yeah. it's really interesting to see those that are just like, yeah, I don't really like that chrome look. It's, it's uh, funny, because you went, I mean, two clubs ago was the i525 when yeah. they haven't really ever been that shiny chrome mm. look on any mm. of their clubs really mm. nope. it's been a while since they've had even a, a shiny driver crown it's been yeah. matte for the yeah. longest time so Which is interesting because they're very went, big contrast to the paradigm here yeah everybody went everybody went glossy this year except for pink yeah i like the i like the matte look so anyway not even taylor made went away from it too didn't they yeah they did Oh, already the highest ball speed of the day on the first swing. Wow. This guy knows what he's talking about, folks. 
<laughs> the Callaway did make it clear in uh, introducing the iron that they were you know, the Paradigm and Paradigm X. They were chasing distance. Yeah. And uh, that was kind of their number one, you know, number one uh, mission, if you will. It's kind of cool, though, to have their, you know, this year's flagship golf club be a player distance iron as opposed yeah, to a game yeah. improvement. Yeah, I do club. like, I do like that change. Yeah, I um, thought that was, and then to, that was well, they cool. still had the Paradigm X yes. too available there. Yes. So I think that's it's really good kind of, uh, I guess, strategy or, or, or tactic by Callaway. There. Yeah, yeah. And again, the, you know, the, both the, Cal the Paradigm X and the Paradigm, really nice looking package. A little thin. It sounded a bit different. Yeah, yeah, it was a little thin. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oi. Oof. So. Yowzer. Okay. <laughs> Predictions came true. It did. Yeah. <laughs> Especially if we uh, just for fun take this out. Yeah. Then we've got um, an average total of two hundred one. Um, a carry of one eighty nine, which is a longer carry yeah. than these three were. Total. Now yeah. that is without that last miss there, um, but regardless, we've it passes the test and does what it says in terms of we're going to chase distance and yep. give you that in this iron, and yep. it certainly provides the distance there. It does. Feels fast. Feels very explosive coming off the face. Um, I've spent enough time with it. I've had enough customers spend time with it to know that it's going to be fast and mm -hmm. it's probably not going to spin as much. So, you know, yeah. the, the question mark then becomes, did we create enough trajectory to have a landing angle that was really workable for, for what we want in a player distance iron? Mm -hmm. And it did, yeah. I mean, 107 feet's fine. 47, eight on a landing angle, we're, we're pretty good there, right? I mean, a little higher would give us a little more, little more control, but mm -hmm. it's not bad. Right, so. and I think, you know, I mean, it's, it, clearly, the distance thing is is what they're looking for, and they've achieved it. Uh, but I think that you know the face cup and the the speed frame and all these yep. things that are in there. I mean, Callaway is no stranger to adding distance through various technologies, yeah, AI absolutely. and stuff. Yep. Um, they yep. just continue to do it. Yep. And the Paradigm is another example. So, really, really good, and no surprise to see it the farthest up the the chart there on yeah. this version. Yep. That's that would be my prediction. So the next one here, we've got the Tour Edge C723 okay. the exotics. Um, slightly different shaft due to fitting components. Yep, yep. Um, so slightly different shaft. We have been using Modus 105 for everything. This one is um, Elevate 95. Yep. So slightly different, uh, I guess, feel and, and characteristics with that one. I've only hit this a couple times in the store. So this is going to be kind of a Kind of a good little test for me. I don't yeah. know. I don't know this club as well as I know the rest of them. Well, talk to me before you even hit. Talk to me about what it looks like. Yeah, I mean it, it's uh, it's pretty good looking. It's similar, kind of to the to the Mizuno in its in its shape and form. Yeah. Um, you know, Mizuno's got a fairly long blade length, so this one does too. Um, I like the finish. We got some chrome to it here, but when you set it down, the it's, it's matte that. face. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's not an unattractive golf club. I do think this is, um, a very muted. Yeah, soft it, it really club. is. It really is. That was good. Yep. Very good. That was very high too. Yeah. Okay. So this is really good feeling iron. Uh, like, yeah. Like really good feeling. Sounds good too. Not too clicky. No, and not clicky at all, for at least audio wise from here. Yeah. Nothing of the sort at all. Um, you'll bring up everything here. We can look at map. We can look at numbers so yeah. far. Again, we have all the irons. Um, it kind of falls into that 5100 range with everything, yeah. uh, with the trick sound and the ping so far. Numbers were almost identical to the, to the mark. Yeah, really. Mark two. The club speed, the ball speed, mm -hmm. 
God, yeah, that is crazy, actually. It's the same numbers. The only difference being this variation on spin. Yeah, um, yeah. Through the through Well, that was the, probably the me more than anything, honestly. Though the, the shaft being different it, that's could true. be something. That's true. Um, this definitely doesn't feel the I'm same. Feeling, I'm feeling a little more, a little more head weight. Yeah. So that's, makes sense. that's a thing. It makes it's, sense. Yeah. Um, yeah, but still, I mean, it's also worth noting uh, the Shrixon and the Tour Edge were also highest launching so far at right. 20, well, 19.9 yeah. and 20.7. So um, they must have a similar profile a little bit there, at least in the club head. Yeah. Um, all right. So we got two left here. We'll go to Cobra. The okay. Forge Tech. All righty. I know that's one of your favorite irons. I played, I've played the Forge Techs in the past. So I know that I'm pretty happy with the shape on these. Um, it's a little taller here than I maybe absolutely like, but okay. it's, uh, it's certainly not far off from, from the good stuff. A little skinny. Interesting. The skinny one was still lower than the average on a few of the clubs so far. Yeah. For spin. Oh, yeah. Club twirl? Almost always. Unless it's bad. That's just, that's just being cocky. It's just, it's just, it's just, it's just built in. Uh, you have these two that are right on top of each other here. That's kind of cool. Oh, yes. There you go. Um, with There's... that club. So pretty consistent. Again, yeah. a pretty small variation on that spin. Good. We're seeing a lot of that carry, those carry numbers in 176 to 179 or 180. Yeah. There's so many of these clubs. That's a pretty good dispersion, too. Yeah, it's not bad. Not bad. Pretty good stuff. I mean, the numbers speak for themselves here. Ball it's kind speed. of right in the middle of the pack with regards to the rest and pretty much every category. Yeah. I mean, ball speed was was good, not great. I swung that a little slower for whatever reason. I think it's, it might be the, it's close. It's almost the narrowest dispersion. It might be the best yeah. dispersion up there, depending on what you're might looking be. at. It might yeah. be either Shrixon or Cobra in terms of dispersion. Yeah. Pretty good, I like though. It. I, like, I like the feel. So really we're solid. saving perhaps a more proven model for last, Ooh. the P790. Uh, yes. The, the original, the OG. Yes, the OG. Right? This was really the golf club that launched the, the original model distance in, Yeah, revolution. the original model in yeah. 2017 was really yep. a, a game changer. Yep, and I played that model. Did you? Yeah, won the Pennsylvania State Open with it. Well, that's decent. Yeah, and then I got rid of it because I didn't really like the look didn't of it. Didn't you? Uh... <laughs> well, okay, well, how's the look of this model now? This is a new version of it, newest version of it. About the same. Okay. Yeah, about the same. They haven't they haven't made any kind of crazy changes to the yeah. To if the they've club. if they they've done anything, they maybe slimmed it down a hair in yep, certain places. Yep, they changed the consistency of the goo. Yeah, right. Uh, yeah, this they call auditory it speed response foam air is what it's yeah. now called. Yeah. So, you know, little innovations. One thing that a company like TaylorMade really doesn't want to do is mess with a formula that's really working. Yeah. Right. Like Callaway is not going to make massive changes to the Apex. I'm pretty certain. Because mm -hmm. that is a such a proven golf club, so you know little tweaks, some aesthetic, some interior, um, but it. But if it's winning people Pennsylvania State Opens, well, yeah, the, the heart setting of course records yeah, and the whole. The thing. heart of the golf club is the same. Yeah. Right? So yeah, that's true. That was that was a course record week. So that was that was fun. So in the past when we've tested. Mm -hmm. P790 has not always been the weakest loft or strongest loft for that matter. It's always been kind of in the middle in this category, mm -hmm. but has consistently been among the highest, if not the highest ball speed and farthest distance. I think if not for Paradigm, my pr prediction is that Paradigm might reign supreme yet, but P790 will be up there. I think that's probably a pretty solid, yeah. astute prediction. Yeah. It's always been just super explosive. Yeah. Now it does have a little bit of a different high-pitched sound. It does, but it's not offensive at all. Mm -hmm. Like I don't find it. I don't find it to be particularly clicky. No. Uh, no, it's not. I mean, there's certainly worse out there. Yes. yes. Certainly. Yes. Oh 
Oh, and launch tire yeah, too. Yeah, little hanger. Just a little bit of a hanger on that one. Okay, good. I like it. It's a great golf club. Yeah, it really it's, is. It's just a great golf club. All right, we got two colors that look the same up there. Yeah, um, yeah. One's, well, I'm pretty sure one's pink and one's red. <laughs> yes. But one's a darker, I don't know, maroon to red. I think Jackman could have picked like a yellow or something up there. Maybe, they have a but... green, the green that they use sometimes is very hard to see. Too. Yeah, <laughs> I suppose, like, yeah. Just use a black. But, yeah. so this, this kind of horizontal oval is the P790. Yeah. Um, which is a, another can candidate for best dispersion up there today. Yep. And if we look at the numbers, I, I mean, it is the second farthest iron behind Paradigm. Yep. And ball speed, yeah, it's just barely behind Paradigm. Smash factor is the tied for the most efficient. So a lot of those things that are, you know, we've known about P790 yeah. are still still there. Yeah. Um, and now we've actually, we can kind of break, start breaking down all the numbers um, a little bit here. We can kind of just, what I'll do is I'll bring it up here. We'll, we'll start with the big table of okay. info, all these numbers and um, the spreadsheet. So is there anything here that really jumps out at you or maybe that surprises you or I think is worth, worth there's, noting? There's nothing that surprises me. Uh, to me, the big, the big jump out is, is paradigm. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, lower spin and longer distance. Mm -hmm. And that's just something we have to be mindful of when we're when we're in the fitting bays to make sure that we're hitting numbers that are that are productive rather than than causing harm. Right, mm -hmm. hitting it longer is great as long as we're able to make it stop and as long as that's what we actually want. Right, um, and because it is, I mean, it's actually not the shallowest landing angle. No, um, but in terms of height, you know, and the launch and things like that, it's when you're getting it at this low a spin is when it starts to be. Now, yeah. for you and your swing speed, not a concern, but somebody that might not swing as fast, yeah. it could become, yeah. or at least the, I think the right way to put it is paradigm would be, it would be a, a concern faster yeah. um, for someone in the paradigm versus I-525 or yeah. uh, exotics, C723, for example. Yep. Yep. Um, other thing too is I think there's just a few, I mean, there's some really good spin consistency numbers yes, up here. Yes, indeed. I-525, ZX-5, Mark II, Forge Tech and the P790, all very, very good numbers. Yeah. And I think that's a that's a that's a uh, a metric that I think is sometimes ignored in this category because it is so much about distance and it is um, like the, the hollow body iron sometimes can just almost ignore that piece or it's not really uh, it doesn't perform well there. But having consistent spin in this category yeah. is is that next step, knowing that manufacturing is improving when you see that. Yeah, and that is one of the, that is probably the biggest concern when you've got somebody who's playing competitively, but wants, you know, wants a little more in terms of distance. Yeah. The, the fear is, are there hot spots? Are we going to get, um, you know, are we going to get the, a jumper out of the fairway, a fairway flyer, yeah. right? You know, we're always going to get flyers out of the rough, you know, mm -hmm. and you have to play for them, but, um, we don't want to hit one that's, you know, 18 yards further than anything else. And all you did was, was happen to catch it in a, in a particular spot. Right. right. And so, that, that goes hand in hand with how consistent some of these distances are. Too. Yeah. Personally, I never had a problem with it with the 2017 version. Um, I played a full year of, of tournament golf with it. Never had any issues. So I've heard tales. Yeah. And it's only, and this one's only be, better. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's, it's Taylor made's not going to release new versions if it's not better. No, so. exactly. And they're, that would be something that they would be focusing on right. is trying to make sure that, you know, they've got this great idea and, and, you know, the first version of it, maybe like a, like an Apple product, maybe it had a little bit of bugs to it right. and they just kind of make things better and better as you mm -hmm. go. And, and yeah. So what we have here is a, another, just another fantastic mm -hmm. iron. Um, lastly, before we kind of finalize things and maybe do some, some rankings, yeah. um, dispersion map. Uh, I think obviously the first thing that jumps out at me is those two or three that are just out there with the paradigm. Yeah. And then I think, again, it's kind of looks like an abstract painting a little bit in some ways, but <laughs> there's the, uh, the ping I-525 orange one yep. is the one where I think if we took this one out, which is kind of the one that you hit, I think it was sure. that last one. Yeah, that was one, the last thin one. Yep. 
Yep. If you took that out, it would be just these four right here, yeah. which is very, very impressive for ping. Um, and then you have this, uh, what's this, the ZX5 Mark yep. II is this turquoise one. Yep. You got the blue one, which is a Forge Tech, and you got yep. this red one here, which is a P790 that are all very similar performing yeah. irons yeah. Um, and with the really tight dispersions there. Yep. It's a decent, it's a, it's a decent mess of dots. Yeah. Yeah. I think, it, and that's a good, I mean, a lot of those dots are in a very similar spot. So, yeah, that's um, good. I think it's it's ranking time now. Okay. All right, Mr. Crafts, okay. testing complete there. Yeah. Um, really good stuff. We broke down the numbers a little bit. So uh, now it's time. We'll kind of go back in and, and talk about the look and the feel and sound and do some rankings. So yep. on the look piece, mm -hmm. again, we got seven models here that you tested. Yep. Um, you commented a little bit on the ones you liked the best. So yeah. let's go for it here. Top three in terms of look. Okay, purely off aesthetics. Uh, Strixon ZX5 mm -hmm. just fits my eye to yep. a T. Um, Callaway's Paradigm, just a, a great shape, very comfortable with that shape. And then Ping I525. Mm -hmm. Those are the three that have the the narrowest crotch. <laughs> yeah. That's just, that's that's my thing. Yeah, and I also think it's fun, not, I mean, it's interesting because we talked about the chrome versus the non-chrome. Yeah. You picked two irons back to back. One was the sh probably has the most shiny chrome <laughs> yes, out there. Indeed. And then the one indeed. that has absolutely a satin so kind of. Obviously, yeah. I am not affected by, yeah, right. by chroming or, or satin yeah. finish. Which or and a lot of players else, out there so. watching are. So yes, it's absolutely. worth noting again, absolutely. this is Kevin's yeah, take is, on, on, on just, things here. This is just me, as um, delusional as I am on all this. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. funny too. I mean, the ZX5 uh, Mark II, our fitters across the company love that iron. So yeah. to um, see you rank that highly is no yep. surprise. Um, and it's one of those, like you said, tricks on. It's definitely making progress in terms of climbing oh, up there in the, goodness, uh, yes. I guess, the perception yeah. uh, where, where it ranks among manufacturers. Yeah. I think the previous iron generation was ZX5 and ZX7 really lifted yeah. it up a little bit, but now this new uh, series is going to only It's always been the club that. that I've I've thrown into the mix where maybe people haven't asked for it, but they leave with it because they're <laughs> like, wow, I didn't even think about this and what, what a great golf club. Right. I think that perceptions now finally changing and people are, are being like, all right, so let's, let's throw the tricks on in there. Right. So you're, I'm, I'm hearing more requests for it as we go sure. and absolutely for good reason. Sure. Okay. Sure. Uh, feel and sound now. So obviously let's go hand in hand. So, yep. um, how it felt and then kind of audio as well. Uh, any, how about three favorites there? All right, top three on feel and sound. Uh, Strixon's right there uh, again in this mix. Um, I would definitely have to say the P790 okay. was awesome. I, I love the feel of that golf club from Gen 1. And from there, boy, it's it's tight. I would probably, honestly, I'm probably going to go with Cobra on this one. I really like the feel, of, uh, okay. feel and sound of the of the Forge Tech. Okay, I um, do remember when we were hitting that. It did it did seem like it was, again, to the depends on what you what sound you like to hear. Yeah. But I thought it was yeah. a pretty you know, soft kind of muted. Yep. Um, audio yep. from that one as well. And I, I'll stress that I don't have any issues really with the sound of any of. No, the yeah, I know. These yeah. were just the three that I sure you know for me what I registered in my hands yeah. and in my ears was was my my, my preference. So performance then, I know kind of, we did this before the game improvement irons and we sort of said, uh, um, you know, if you were fitting yourself based on the swings that are up mm -hmm. there today, um, what would you go with? Or maybe what would be the three that you would narrow it down to next? Um, and so we've got dispersion up there, we got numbers, we got the club heads here, what do you like? So if I were, my final three for myself would be, the Strix on the uh, Cobra and the Ping. Okay. Um, P790, just a little too long. Yeah. It just, it just goes a little further than I than I personally want a, a ball to go. Um, mm -hmm. I just, I like the numbers. I like the dispersion. I like the look on all three of those. Yep. Um, you know, Ping didn't fit in my, my sound category it was, yeah. it was to me that was the loudest other than the callaway yeah um but from a performance standpoint those those were sure. the three that i would go yeah, with. yeah and the, the i mean the Shrixon, and i think it was yeah it was Shrixon, it was ping and cobra they were all right around like five thousand spin average yeah. and that carry number was in that kind of high 170s for all yep. of them so 
you got the numbers you want, and then dispersion too, as we talked yep. about. The ping one was tight besides maybe yep. that one that dropped and you yep. miss it slightly. And then those other two were right there as well. Yep. So um, not surprising to see those three kind of show up here as your favorites based yep. on what I just watched yep. uh, in the shots. Uh, now, innovation is kind of a, an interesting topic. I mean, it can go different ways, talking about tech, talking about uh, the uniqueness um, mm -hmm. of it, but um, are, are there three models here in innovation that you like? Uh, yeah, I mean, in terms, of, in terms of how we've, we've built an iron, TaylorMade's just been, I mean, they're, yeah. they're, <laughs> they, they set the standard, right. and it just keeps, it keeps getting better and better. Uh, Callaway's mm -hmm. paradigm, uh, using AI and, and speed frame and cup face, you know, they're, they're chasing distance and they're doing a, a very, very good job. I think they're it. capturing this. They're, they're, they're chasing it down. Yeah. They're getting it. Yeah. I mean, they're yeah, chasing yeah. it and then they're, they're yeah. getting it. And I would say probably the ping mm -hmm. as, as the next one. Um, yeah. Ping just, the I-500 was a good iron, but the, this, the I-525 is so much more refined. The sound is better. Uh, we talked about hot spots. I-500 could just fly off mm -hmm. the face of the earth. As someone who had been playing them, yeah, <laughs> I can confirm. I had them in the top of the bag, and there were some times. Yeah, yeah. 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 so 525 has been much better. Uh, yeah. That way we can see it here. The, mm -hmm. the dispersion was really good. So, um, you know, I think they've, they've, the second generation of that player distance right. iron for ping is just spot on. Yep, yeah. yep. And I, I have a feeling because I five hundred was in the bays really for a while. Yeah. And I have a feeling the I five twenty five will kind of have a similar, um, you know, amount of time where it's in that yeah. kind of fitting yeah. in the fitting Absolutely. bays as its go to player yep. distance iron. So and it's um, such a clean look too. Like, it is. It really is. The, all these irons are clean clean looking. Some of them are a little bit longer blade length. Some of them have a little bit thicker top line, yeah. but they really are, you know, that that step up from a game improvement club mm -hmm. aesthetically. A little more right. compact, a little more player oriented, but still giving you plenty of forgiveness going forward. Right. You know? Yeah, they're all excellent options. And there's a reason why they're in the best of 2023 yeah. video. I yeah. mean, they're they're here because yep. they, they perform really well, all of them regardless, just for, we obviously got Kevin's take today on it, but it might not be the take that you have when you yeah. get fit with someone like Kevin at the stores. Um, so make sure you schedule that fitting. Make sure you get with someone like Kevin in the bays. Uh, get your irons dialed in. Hit more greens. Hit, make more birdies. Uh, shoot lower scores. That all seems pretty good to me. So yeah. um, schedule that fitting. Kevin, thank you for joining us today. Absolutely. Uh, great Absolutely. stuff. Uh, let's, I, think, let's ho I hope out. we answered some questions out there. Yeah, we did. Let's, let's figure out what works best for you.